Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we will discuss about uh, code spaces. Code spaces is from GitHub. Code spaces basically is a uh, cloud-based system where end users without uh, having worried about uh, the operating system uh, and the system hardware, what they can do is they just can use the browser to access cloud-based system resources and they can start working on development. So this is basically uh, for software development uh, uh, kind of thing. But what I'm going to demonstrate is how we use this uh, code spaces for carrying out digital uh, IC uh, front end design. So let's see that how we do that uh, using this code spaces. So before, uh, I mean, uh, I'll open this uh, code spaces. So I have opened, this is the interface uh, the, for code spaces that we have. And uh, this is uh, GitHub uh, repository here that I have created already. Uh, this repository name is very log uh, examples. So uh, now you can see here, this is having only this readme.md file. Only one file is existing here. Uh, okay. So here in the code uh, spaces, what I'm going to do here is I just go here, new code space, new code space, this I click. Once I have clicked this, uh, this one, here I can select my repository that is existing, wherein I want to, if I want to put my contents on in the GitHub, then I can, I have to choose this one. So what is our plan is, uh, we want to populate here what all the work that we do on the remote uh, system. Those things we want to uh, capture them here in our repository. So for that reason, what we are doing here is uh, this repository I'm selecting. And then having selected the repository, uh, here, everything I want to push it to the this branch, main branch itself. And uh, here, uh, my region is the southeast. So here, you can select the system, remote system. So 8 GB RAM, uh, and uh, here, 2 core here. And uh, here, are 4 core, 16 GB RAM. Uh, that's how it is. Yeah, and then you click on this uh, create code space. So we have to wait for a while so that it can configure system for us. This is uh, VS code, uh, like locally what uh, VS code we have here is uh, Visual Studio code. It's a local to our system. And this one uh, here is, okay. this is, uh, you, everyone is familiar with this, right? Uh, VS code. So this is local to my system here. But if you see this one here, this is completely VS code only, but this is on the browser. So we are interfacing the remote system through this VS code. So it is still configuring. So almost done. Now here, we have here this uh, very log examples here. This very log examples folder. 
in this folder we have this uh, readme file okay now oh, other thing is here we have this terminal so what we will do is we have to first uh, in, uh, install required packages so open source packages uh, iwery log iwery log is for simulation <coughs> simulator for simulation purpose yosis is for synthesis so these two packages we have to install currently if you check here uh, like this is the command to check here in the Linux environment, we check where Yosis. So it is taking time here. It comes here. I just type it now. Yeah, see here, it is reconnecting the two spaces. Sometimes it happens. Connecting to the remote, or sometimes it will say like we have to re reload the page. So now these things have come what up here. I have typed here. I'll remove this one. Now, where yours is if you type and press enter. So it is showing up that command not found means this required package is not there. This is a system anyway ready. Uh, what I will do is uh, I'll just take, I'll show one. Uh, I'll upload here in this folder. I'm going to upload. Here, upload from my local system. I have kept this uh, install EDA shell file. I will show now. Open. So this so this file, if you see. This is uh, installing Yosis dependencies. Some dependencies are required here. So them I have kept in the shell file. And then I'm cloning this Yosis package in this uh, synthesizer. Uh, and then installing that one onto the remote system. And then this is for carrying out uh, timing analysis, uh, static timing analysis. It's again open source tool, open STA. And then uh, here is my iWare log. This is a simulator. Um, this one also I'm cloning and then, you know, installing here after building this one I'm installing. And I have this GTK waveform viewer. Once I simulate, if I want to see in the waveform, then that this is required. And then here is the netlist viewer. And once we synthesize, if you want to see the graphical view of the netlist, and then for that purpose, this is required. So this is the shell file. Uh, I mean, uh, all commands I have kept in a file and uh, it is a shell. Uh, now what I do here is this one here, the terminal, I'll do CD. Just type of CD here. It's taking time, some lag is there. It's okay. Then press enter. So in the PWD home directory, this is the home directory slash home code space. Here, uh, this file I want to copy this uh, EDA file, install EDA file in this location. So for that, CP. The file is here in the workspaces and uh, here I have this, uh, let me so open this one here, right click, open in terminal here. So if you open that one here, this is the current part. This is the workspaces slash where log examples is the path. There where this file is there. So we have to copy that file here. This this is the path. 
we have to copy from this part to that home directory. So let's do again CD and then copy command CP slash uh, that is work spaces. And that is very log examples. And here it is that install ida.sh to the current directory. Press enter. So now you can see here if you do ls. ETLS is taking time. This happens very rarely. Uh, while I'm recording, this is happening so frequently. But while I was working, uh, it wasn't happening. So this depends like my internet speed here, uh, maybe some issue with my internet speed. So it's, uh, this is the thing that uh, I was saying, it says sometimes reload window. So if you reload, Just waiting uh, for the terminal to come here. So if I do a less here, now you can see this install EDA.sh is uh, here in this location. Now I make it executable. For that, I time to CHMOD. And then seven seven seven, and then that file. So that way, I make that file executable. So if you, if I do ls now, you can see the color change here. It has become to this color. When uh, I mean, for it, this indicates it is uh, executable. That color. Now, I just have to type sudo. And then that file name and then press enter. So it is uh, installing EOS's dependencies. So this entire process, like you in the install EDA inside this shell script, all these commands are there. Once this dependence is done, then this will install this package and then it will install this open STA. Uh, what all you have kept inside this uh, shell script, those commands will be executed here. It takes time. What I will do is now I will pause the video because once this is done, from there on, how to run our uh, uh, you know simulation synthesis, those parts I will cover. Uh, let's continue. This installation is done. Let's check whether uh, all this uh, package has been correctly installed or not. So here, uh, which uses. So this is installed correctly. So in the part here, access uh, STA. It is also a pattern strong and uh, I will it all. Yes, this is also done. Step GTK wave. Yes, that is also done. Finally, this netlist. Yes, which uh, this is not showing up. So, for that, what we have to do is 
we just go here to this file. We just copy this line by number 45. This line. Copy here, run paste it. So this will pop up will come. So allow. Then this gets pressed here. Press enter. So uh, here we are supposed to be using with the sudo command. It's this one. Before this command, we should be naming sudo. I'll close this terminal. I'll be open. We'll look here. Here's CD. Now sudo. And then that this one, this line number 45. After that, this one, line number 46. So this gets cloned here. Now you can see if you do the less uh, here it is not just SVG. So we have to go inside that using this 47 line number 47. And then line number 48. Copy that command and paste it here. is taking a little bit of time. This is done. Line number 48 is done. Line number this 49. So that is also done. Now uh, let's check. Just so yes, uh, this is now available. This package got installed successfully. So now we are uh, completely ready with all packages. So close all of this. Close this terminal as well. Now here, what I have planned is, I just have to click. This is VS Code, just like VS Code. You you click here, new folder, and then uh, you for file you do this new file all that. 
since uh, uh, I already have this folder, I will upload the folder here. Upload this HA folder just to save the time. Uh, this, uh, this, 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 uh, okay, one at a time, I have to select it. Sounds. I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll just cancel this and I'll create the folder first here. Let me check if folder of production is there. Open folder, add folder, add folder to our spaces there so that we can use. Just be picking up from my local system. Hey, hey, or do this way only like uh, create the folder <laughs> new folder. Let's give the name H. Then inside that folder, I will create two other folders. One folder is H. This for sim for that simulation. Uh, another is H. Of adder and let's go synth for synthesis. Now uh, I'll select this one uh, and upload here. Simulate school files. Okay. Uh, I select the synthesis. And upload so this is what one is this uh, red lock file, and this is the script file. I'll show that script file. <laughs> this is a liberty file that is standard cell library file. We okay. have to organize them here, they are properly coming to the respective folders. <laughs> We can see what we can see is here. This folder, they are here. Uh, inside this synth folder, is there, they've been properly organized here, these three. Only these two files, they're supposed to be inside this HSM. So we can drop them there. So, yeah. Okay, inside HS himself, this folder and these two files are come. That should not be the case. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just create, select like this one and uh, create a folder. Let's 
existence, right? Existing. It's more outside uh, from that picture. So, this But these two quarters are supposed to be inside this chip. Let's take this and keep. This one is something. The hierarchy is correct. See, this is HA inside HA. We have these two folders. One is just uh, Inside HA sim, we have these two files. One is the log, uh, this operator with log board, and this is the just match file. And then we have this HS in the, this is our log file and this is the liberty file. Uh, anyway. So this is use file, uh, big file. So standards are library basically. Okay, and then this is the synth file, synthesis file. So what we are doing basically here is read liberty. This is the command basically read liberty tickle command uh, to read this library, this library and read when log file this is this hr.v and uh, tell the compiler that you know, what is the top module. This is the top module and this is commented here because we don't we, we are not going to infer any uh, sequential logic. In case if you are going to infer any sequential logic, you have to uncomment this one. Now also you can uncomment the problem. And uh, this is uh, for logic synthesis. Uh, I mean, uh, ABC is for uh, the inferring the logic, combinational logic. And then intermediate if any files being generated, clean command will remove them. Write very log uh, is a command to write a necklist file. And write uh, JSON file is a file format. And uh, here we have this ha uh, dot rtt report file. This is the report file, and uh, this is for this uh, netlist uh, view uh, to view the netlist. This JSON file format is converted to SVG. So this is uh, another format. I'll show that once I have this one. So let's see. If this one is a custom. This. Uh, the file is not displayed in the text editor because it's very large. Uh, so, okay. Offline, you can download and can see. This is the uh, file. Uh, okay. Uh, now, basically, we have uh, current, uh, everything set up ready here. So, this one, uh, let's, uh, before uh, we simulate or before we synthesize, few plugins are required here for us. Those plugins are uh, to go to these extensions here. One is uh, this SVG, uh, this plugin. Uh, this is uh, several SVG, but we need this native SVG preview. This one, this uh, plugin is required. So we are installing that one. That is done. Next is uh, Graphis. Graph is uh, the graph is um, so, this is the graph is strong, so they get graph is strong. This this Okay. 
Yeah, this one is the blanket that grab. Let's install it. Uh, so that is also done. Grabbed. Now, SVG done, now it's done. Waveform viewer is required for that, that is VCD. Value change down. This is the waveform trace. This, these three plugins are required. So now everything is set. You can close them. Now, first go to the simulation folder. Right click, open an integrated terminal. Here you can compile first, I will load, and then the file name ha.v, and then uh, the other file here. So this is a check. Test. So press enter. So once this is compiled, you will see this a.out be generated. So that we have to execute. But that command is vvp, then that uh, a.out. So that if you do, we can see here at zero simulation time, a is zero, b is zero, your sum is zero, carry out is zero. So like that, you can see this here in the console. And here this VCD file, if you see this VCD file. So what we can do is we can see here in the waveform. So for that, what we need to do is go to add signals, select the signals that you want to see here in the waveform. I want to see A, double click, then B, then sum, then carry out. So but so here you can see them. You just click on this uh, this one, zoom fit. So you will see them here. The unwanted, I mean, this I is not required to be seen here. So this this can be deleted here, basically. You can delete this signal. Yeah, selected this one and then this 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 one, not this this one. This, this is the thing that we use. Uh, so point for that one. So uh, we can see here this cursor wherever you click here, the corresponding time here for this corresponding time. These are the values, and uh, for this corresponding time, these are the values. So like that in the waveform uh, viewer also we can see them. All right, this is the waveform viewer and this is the console. So what we have done, we have done the simulation. Now we can close them. Now you can go to this one center and we are supposed to be coming out of the simulation here. Yeah, finish by typing finish. So now you right click, open integrated terminal. Now you have all these files here. That is your regular uh, file and the script file and the liberty file. So the command here is uses and the script file name. That is synth underscore ha dot ys. Press enter. So this is doing the synthesis here. So all, all these files here, you can see here, at least file. This is your uh, standard uh, cells. You can see them here, <laughs> standard cells. This is your netlist list file. And the uh, report file is this one. Uh, it has inferred uh, two cells. And uh, chip area, estimated chip area is this one here. And uh, we have this SVG file here. Right click and uh, open with, this will show up here, SVG preview. Click on it, SVG preview. So you will see this, uh, you know, graphical view of uh, viewing the netlist. This the same netlist, text-based netlist, what we have seen, this one is what shown up here in, uh, is what shown up here this one okay 
Now, coming to another thing that I want to tell you this, this is the, another file format here. Yeah, this is the DOD. Now, to view this kind of format, uh, you can go to here and uh, here there is uh, one. to open this file that is this is another way of viewing the same like graphically what we have seen this one the same way but uh, uses default uh, format it is so to view that This one view command palette here uh, graph is that the graph this graph is this one so in that it opens up like this but this this kind of view is uh, like uh, comp I mean uh, uh, big designs if you take uh, this is this looks uh, uh, very uh, ugly kind of thing. Whereas this view is very like, uh, you know, commercial tools, how they show up. That's how the view is, this SVG file part. Okay. That's how it is. Uh, what we have done basically here is we did the synthesis and we did the simulation also. Now, while we are doing all of these things here, uh, you can see here, there are 15 changes uh, been done here. All these changes ha happened. Now we have to commit this one here so that we can see them here. This is empty earlier I showed, right? This this is the, this repository is empty. So now if you mm, go to this one here, just here, um, this message needs to be written here. Some message like I uh, updated, I'm just writing updated, and then uh, anything you can put here and uh, commit and sync. And then this pop up, uh, I mean, there are no stage changes to commit. Uh, would you like to stage all your changes to commit them directly? Yes. So uh, this action pull and push commit from the origin. Okay. So now what happens is from this, this workspace, all these files will be pushed here to this uh, repository. So just refresh this one. So now you can see the caption. And the message is for our reference. The message that we give there is for our reference. So up, updated I have given, so you will see the updated here. And uh, you, if you click this this file, you will see inside this HSM and uh, HSM. So inside of this, in all of these files. So that way your work is uh, like, if you can show to anyone like what you have done on, from this repository. Okay, and uh, this one, uh, this workspace is done now. How to close this work? Uh, I mean, code space. This uh, how to close this code spaces? Yes, click here. My code spaces. Go to my code spaces. Here you can see it's active. So you have consumed this three point nine three GB. No, uh, monthly monthly uh, given is 32 GB among the 32 GB from this 32 GB I use it up this this much every month it will like reset to 32 GB so stop code space so if you don't stop code space it, it is like counted towards usage here uh, you know 
continuously if you work uh, 60 hours i think you can work here continuously then you will use up all the 32 gb so now i will again revise this what exactly we are doing here uh, See, this is your GitHub repository. Now from GitHub repository to go to the code spaces, if you want to work, let's say now you thought of working uh, on uh, full, uh, full end. So then what is that you want to do? Generally, what we do, we work on our, in our local system. From there, we update our GitHub repository. Now you don't need to work in, in your local system. You just get, uh, go to this code spaces. Here you already have your, uh, this one. Uh, one, one code space is here. Open that one. Start working right from this code spaces here. So in the, this is the current, uh, I mean, repository. In this repository only, I want to work with the full address, I suppose. So what is that you have to do? So go here, new folder, create your full header folder. Inside full header folder, create a file. One that is full header dot v, fb dot v, press enter. Now here start writing uh, your code. That is, for example, you are writing module, or full adder, A comma, B comma, C, your sum, C, O, then your input. So all this, so whatever the changes you have made here, everything will be like, it will be shown up like they are pending, like uh, to commit. Commit in the sense, like we update uh, this, uh, you know, this this repository. So we have to commit. So those commits, what kind of commits are pending, it will show up. So there you have to click here. And then this is regarding the full header, right? I will put a message here. Your fit. Since it is incomplete, I'm just giving me one more channel. And uh, go here, commit and sync. Yes, I click OK. So the moment you do this one, once it is done, your tick mark will come show up like this. Go to your rep this uh, uh, repository, refresh. It's available here, right here. So that's how you can use code spaces for uh, digitalized C front end design part. I had shown you like. You can do here uh, with the example uh, power fader. I have shown you how we can do the simulation and how we can do the synthesis. And uh, in synthesis, we use this uh, Sky Water uh, Liberty file, standard cell library. So it is, it is just uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Good tool online that we can keep instantly. Our repository also will get updated. And uh, you are actually working on remote system. You you actually did not install any operating system. You just uh, I mean you only installed required packages that are uh, required, and you did not bother about the like RAM support, hard disk support. Everything is provided here. You just need to have your required packages or so and start working. So that's the best way that uh, you know one can make use of this uh, code spaces uh, from Git uh, GitHub. Uh, if you have any doubts, you please ask in comment section.
uh, I will try to respond there. And let me know uh, how, how do you feel about this. Okay, thank you.